In today's video, I'm reviewing a 2013 Cadillac SRX. The Cadillac SRX was first introduced to market in 2006 and replaced with an all new second generation model in 2010 that ran until 2016. With the second generation model, the XRS replaced the Cadillac Escalade as Cadillac Sales King. In 2016, they renamed the SRX the XT5 with the all new third generation model. Styling on the SRX is uniquely Cadillac. It's very bold, lots of sharp edges and creases, lots of bling. You'll notice the all chrome front grille, with the large Cadillac emblem. Likewise, the headlights are quite large with a lot of shine to them. Several other chrome accents on the front bumper. It is worth noting that Cadillac did a minor refresh to the SRX for the 2013 model year. With that refresh, they gave it a new grille and a new front fascia. The second generation of the SRX is much sportier looking than the first, which was a little bit boxy and quite a bit longer. First generation did offer a third row seat, whereas in the second generation, it only has seating for five. You'll notice the fake side gills here on the front fender with that crease cutting through the side of the vehicle all the way to the rear. And then at the back, it's got a very dramatic, sharp slope to that rear hatch. And likewise, tail lights are very dramatic and much in line with Cadillac's trademark tall linear tail lights. I'm a fan of the dual exhaust. Nice large exhaust pipes here. You'll notice the parking sensors on the rear bumper. Also parking sensors on the front bumper. Vehicle will beep inside to notify you if you're about to hit an object. Styling in all Cadillac vehicles is very controversial. It's kind of a love it or hate it kind of design because they are very unconventional, uh, grab a lot of attention, but you've got to give them credit for being truly one of a kind. Got a very unique style to them. See the panoramic sunroof up top integrated side rails with crossbars on the roof. Overall, the second generation model is definitely very sporty and a nice improvement over that first generation SRX. I'm very impressed with the interior of the SRX. I feel that Cadillac as a brand really hasn't kept up with some of the other luxury uh, brands on the market with the overall fit and finish and design of their interiors in recent years. And the SRX is definitely a huge development over prior generations. It's a really nice interior, great overall design, high quality materials, and it's one of a kind. It's got a really unique style to it that isn't just copying the other luxury brands on the market. It's very unique as a Cadillac. And of course it does come with a nice high level of features. We've got power windows and door locks, power mirrors, electric rear hatch, power seats with memory settings for two drivers, automatic headlights, and we'll jump inside. We've got push button start here. So we're gonna turn that on so we can see some of the features of the vehicle. It's got the Q infotainment system. On the steering wheel, you'll see we've got a lot of functionality here. So we've got integrated Bluetooth, we've got cruise control with an adaptive feature. And so the vehicle will slow down or speed up depending on the vehicles in front of you. It's got a heated steering wheel. And then over on this side, we've got audio functions for the media system in the vehicle. So you can control stations, media, um, and volume. Nice up-to-date instrument cluster. It's very modern, sophisticated. And then the center here, a large screen with that infotainment system. Duals as a backup camera. 
You can control a number of vehicle functions through this screen. Of course, audio, phone, navigation, weather, climate, other apps that you can um, import into the vehicle. You can also control the climate settings with these buttons here in the center. Interestingly enough, I was expecting these silver guys to be the buttons. It's actually a touch screen, and so um, you touch on the black here to adjust. We've got dual zone climate control for the front and driver side, as well as heated and cooled seats on both the driver and passenger side. It's got a CD player. We've got an automatic transmission with an electronic parking brake. Over here, we've got the ability to turn the um, blind spot monitoring on and off, parking sensors on and off, and then it's got an eco mode for more fuel efficient driving. The SRX also has Bose audio, and so really great premium audio sound. We've got OnStar integrated into the mirror. Um, you can program up to three garage door openers into the vehicle. It's also got controls for the lights here, and then for that large panoramic sunroof, which really creates a nice cabin. Seats are very comfortable, and as I mentioned, just the overall design of the interior of the SRX is very well done. I'm very impressed with what Cadillac's done here. The back seat of the SRX is also very nice. You'll see that they can control their own climate settings with separate vents. We've got two outlets here. Give you a view up to the front. And with that large sunroof up above, these panoramic sunroofs almost make the rear seat nicer than the front because you really get to appreciate that. Got an integrated armrest in the middle here, two cup holders, and then this little guy opens up and you can store items in the middle. Nice functionality there. And then these seats do fold down. 60-40 split, so you can fold down one side, the other, or both. And then we'll come around to the back where we do have an electric hatch. And you'll see the SRX is very spacious in the rear cargo area. Lots of space. And then you'll see this unique track that's integrated in the floorboard. With that rack. Kind of a unique system to allow you to separate the cargo space. And so you can push on this button here and this whole rack will slide. I don't have two hands to do it, but it's kind of unique because you can either move it like halfway this way and you could put objects on either side. Let's say you have some grocery bags, you could pull it back, put grocery bags on one side or the other, um, and then kind of hold those bags against, um, you know, the seat back or the rear hatch to keep them from spilling. Likewise, you can turn the rack uh, to kind of angle one way or the other. And so you can close off a little compartment and kind of get things secure in there. So it's kind of a cool system that's adaptable to give you some additional functionality there. The SRX was originally offered with either a 3 liter V6 or a 2.8 liter turbo V6. From 2012 on, it came with a 3.6 liter V6, which has a healthy 308 horsepower and is paired to a six speed automatic transmission. That's good for 16 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway in all wheel drive configurations and 17 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway on two wheel drive models. Gotta say that I'm really impressed with the SRX. I think Cadillac has done a really nice job with this vehicle, pushing the envelope and really creating a nice luxury vehicle. I think that Cadillac's had a bad reputation in recent years for being a brand that's targeted toward an older demographic and as a brand that doesn't really push the envelope uh, when compared with the other luxury brands, more they've kind of been trying to keep up. And I think with the SRX that they've really created a one of a kind design. They've really done a nice job to not just copy the other luxury brands on the market, but really push the envelope and create a vehicle that has a very unique, luxurious feel to it. And they're very successful with that in the SRX. And it's a really nice ride as well. It's a very quiet cabin, very smooth and comfortable. It's got nice steering feel. Suspension is just sporty enough, but it's also very smooth and uh, bumpy roads. And I think it's a great overall vehicle. Definitely puts Cadillac on par with the likes of Audi and BMW. Um, although I will note that the uh, powertrain is not as good. It is very uh, quiet, it's powerful. 
the transmission is pretty smooth, but when you really put the vehicle to the limit, the SRX does struggle a little bit. Um, you'll find that it's not quite as refined in those situations where you really push it hard. So that's a review of the 2013 Cadillac SRX. I've got to admit that my expectations were pretty low coming into testing this vehicle, but having driven it, I'm very impressed. It's definitely a worthy competitor for the likes of the BMW X3 and the Audi Q5, and it's worth a look if you're in the market for a mid-sized luxury SUV. If you have any comments or questions on the SRX, leave them in the section below. For more car reviews, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching.